Today, let's get into the world of Airtable extensions. So Airtable extensions are like little power-ups for your Airtable base. In this lesson, we'll help you understand how to use Airtable extensions and give you a sneak peek at a couple extensions that might be useful for you. Using Airtable extensions is pretty straightforward. You're just gonna come to your base, click on the extensions button on the right, and then add an extension. Here, you'll see what is effectively an app store where you can add whatever extension you want. And a lot of them have been built by Airtable. So they do little features that Airtable basically didn't want to build into the product. Um, but many others are built by third parties. So you'll see things from Typeform and Pexels, right? And they basically let you interact with other tools from within Airtable. To add an extension, all you have to do is click Add. It will ask you to confirm that. And it'll install it into your base in a little side window. And so we can cross about this one. And you'll see here, the Miro extension is now installed and ready to be used. So extensions can vary pretty widely in terms of what they actually do. So let's just take a look at a couple so you can get a flavor for what you might want to use extensions for in general. So I've set up an extensions dashboard one with a couple of these examples here. And first, let's take a look at an extension called Airtable Charts. So what this does, if we open this up and take a look at the settings, is it lets us work with our data that we have in this Airtable base and essentially build graphs with our data. This allows us to take the data in our Airtable base and display it in a way that's more useful. Now, to give you an idea of how different these extensions can be, let's take a look at a Miro extension. So if you don't know it, Miro is a whiteboarding tool, and their extension basically just lets you embed a Miro board directly into Airtable. So you can imagine a world in which you have a set of data in Airtable that is relevant to some whiteboarding session that you've done with a team. Now those two things can actually live together through the Miro extension. And then finally, let's take a look at one more called URL Shortener. So this is an extension that actually interacts with the data, right? So you, it not only is something that lets you view the data over to the side, but will actually update what's in your base. So here it takes the data that's in this side, let's say long URL, and creates a short URL over in this field. So we can click here, use our little extension, and it actually updates the data in our base. So that's your quick intro to Airtable extensions. Airtable extensions are an easy way to power up your Airtable base. Hopefully you have a chance to check some of them out and let us know which ones are your favorite.